Okay, so starting with the footprint of the build. This will be the front side. So the door will go in here. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks across. The left side going back from the front is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks back. And the back, again, the front is over there, that's where the door is. The back is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks across. And that is where we will start with the foundation. So starting from the front left most spot, you'll place one spruce log. Then going across the front four blocks, we will place the other spruce log. And again, this is the front. I'm going to try and reorient myself every layer, looking from the front to the back, just to stay consistent. <coughs> so from here, we have two stairs across the front with a slab on either side. <coughs> going from the middle of this, we'll go all the way to the back. So including this front block here, not the slab, this block. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks to the back. We can throw a spruce log on the side. And from there we have one, two andesite, four cobblestone, two andesite, <coughs> and one spruce log. From here we have solid andesite blocks of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven towards the front with a spruce log at the end. And then of course, andesite all the way over till we meet in line with this spruce log in the front, and then we just connect the two. And then we can fill this all in, except for the area in which we need the campfires which will go under the stove. So, coming directly off the back from where those four cobblestone are, Throw in four andesite, and throw in four campfires. And then we can just continue filling in this entire area in the middle. Okay, so back to the front. Looking from the front, we're going to the right side. We're going to do slab, stair, slab. On the rightmost side, we're going to do slab, stair facing towards the back, stair towards the middle, then one towards the front, then one towards the back, one to the middle, and one towards the front. On the back side, we'll get one towards the left side of the building, one towards the front, and then we are going to have a cobble stair towards the left side, two cobblestone across, one andesite stair towards the front, one to the left, and in the very back, two cobblestone stairs facing towards the front. On the leftmost side of the build, looking from the front, we will go from the back log towards the front. So, one andesite, one stair towards the middle, one towards the front, and then all the rest are andesite towards the front. Moving out one and going back, we have slab, 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 stair towards the back, stair towards the middle, stair towards the middle, slab, air block, slab. Back towards the front, moving one out, then back one, and we have two slabs. Now on to the next layer. We'll go for increasing the height of all of the spruce logs by one. Now, at the angle where these two spruce logs meet, we are going to put another spruce log. On the right side of the build, we're gonna leave two blocks, spruce log, air block, spruce log. And on that leftmost side, 
we are going to start with the outermost ring here. So it's fence, slab, two gates, leave two spaces for now, two gates, and a dark oak fence. Moving inwards one block, we have spruce planks for our wall. So here is going to be a row of three towards the back, spruce log, two planks, spruce log, two planks. And now we can place the upside down stair blocks on the outside. Going across the back from this back spruce plank, just continue the line all the way across, except do not go in line with the spruce logs. At the end, we will place the fence, then a gate, and the mirror on the opposite side. So a gate, then a fence. We can continue this wall on the right side of the building. Again, that's the front. This is the back. Two spruce planks towards the front. Dark oak stairs, three spruce planks. Then going towards the middle, including this block, we have one, two, three, four, five spruce planks. And then two more towards the front. On the inside end of this wall, we have one spruce log. Going between the logs on the right side, we have a fence, fence, and then two gates. In the front on either side of the entrance, we have chains placed vertically. You can put whatever doors you, ha you want here. I personally am using crimson doors. We can place our bed in this corner with an oak fence next to it a trap door facing against the fence and up. From this spruce log we have one facing into the bedroom area, a trap door, and we flip that vertical. Across the back we'll have a spruce log on each side, two chiseled nether bricks, one on each side, and two blast furnaces across the middle. You can replace these with a smoker if you want, or just a regular furnace. Whatever you need in this spot. This is going to be a small table over here, which is just an upside down stone brick stairs. On the opposite side, attached to this spruce log, we will have an upside down spruce stair. Leave a block, upside down spruce stair, and a grindstone. Now you can throw whatever trapdoor you want in between these. On to the back side, looking towards the front. We have fence, two gates, three cobblestone, a gate, and a fence. In the middle of, the, of those three cobblestone, replacing one more cobblestone, and then a stair facing to the right side of the building. And we're going up. So we're going to increase the height of all of the spruce logs by one. We are going to increase the height of all of these spruce planks by one. On top of those chains in the front, we'll place some trap doors. On the left side of the building, we'll place a fence on top of the fence before, a vertical trap door above the slab, place blocks to place this against. So you can place a trap door against the side of it, then flip it up. Same on the opposite side of this window. We have andesite stairs angled outwards on both sides. In the back corner we have a dark oak fence. Now looking from the back to the front, on the right side we have a fence, vertical trap door, air block, two cobblestone, one cobblestone stair coming off the back of that, 
then a cobblestone stair against the building, an upside down dark oak stair, and a dark oak fence. And on this right side of the building, from the back, we have a fence, a button, in the window we can throw in some glass panes, whatever color you feel like, and then we have a button and a fence again. On the small wall on the right side, we'll have an air block, upside down stairs, dark oak fence, and in the one wide gap we have another dark oak fence. Across the kitchen area, we're just going to place iron trap doors. You can place whatever you want on this table. I'm just throwing some cake down for decoration. Dark oak trap door on top of the oak fence to make a side table for the bed. And we are just going to place spruce trap doors on top of the other spruce trap doors. Again, both times facing in towards the bedroom. Now looking from the front, we'll go up a layer. Increase all of the spruce wood by one. Increase the spruce planks on all of the walls by one. And we'll start from the front. So above the trap door, we're going to put a button. We put two upside down dark oak stairs across the front above the doors. On the left side of the building towards the back, we'll go fence, vertical trap door, fence, trap door on top of the previous one facing in towards the window, trap door on top of the other one facing in towards the window then two fence on the side. We can finish off our square window by having two more upside down and a side stairs. On the back, we have dark oak fence, normal dark oak stairs, air block, two cobblestone, air block, vertical trap door, dark oak fence, on the right side, we have a dark oak fence, button above the other button, another glass pane in the window, button above the other button, and a dark oak fence. On the small wall, we have fence, vertical trap door, and fence. And on the tiniest wall, just another fence. So on to the interior. Above these trap doors, we're going to place levers on the wall and power them so smoke can finally get back through. We're going to put trap doors on top of the previous trap doors to continue the bedroom walls. Above our previous shelf, we're going to place another one with two upside down stairs attached to the spruce logs and trap doors in between. Again, they can be whatever trapdoors you want. Going up a layer. We'll increase the spruce logs all by one. Increase the walls with a layer of spruce planks. Across the front, we can add in a line of two planks across the front with two dark oak stairs placed normally in front of those. And on the back of these two planks, we have upside down spruce stairs just to add to the curve of the inside of the building. On the right side of the door, we have an open fence gate, which will look as a small arch support. 
on the left side we have a chain which had a lantern attached underneath of it. And before we get to the corners of the roof, we will just do the trim on the side. So on the right side, going towards the back, we have fence, gate, fence, gate, two normal dark oak stairs, fence gate, two fences. On the back side, fence, two air blocks, cobblestone, dark oak fence, air block, dark oak stairs, and dark oak fence. On the right side, going towards the front from the back, we have a fence, then a gate, then a fence across the window, and we can put a upside down dark oak stairs facing towards the outside over top of the window. And then again, towards the front, we have a gate and a stair. On the small wall, we'll have a fence, upside down or normal dark oak stairs, and on the tiny wall, a dark oak fence. And now we'll start with the stone trim around the roof. So on the right side of the front of that building, we'll put an upside down staircase, bottom slab next to that, and another upside down staircase. Against the dark oak stairs, that's vertical, we'll place an upside down stone staircase. On the right corner, we will put an upside down stone staircase, a top slab, and then another upside down staircase, and a top slab again. On either side of this glass pane window, we have top slabs. In the back corner, we have an upside down stair, top slab towards the middle, top slab on the back, and top or upside down staircase on the back left. On the back right, upside down staircase, top slab, upside down staircase, top slab. Above this window, towards the front, we have a top slab. On that front corner, upside down stairs, slab towards the back, slab towards the front, and upside down stairs. Onto the interior of the building, we just have some storage on this shelf up here. Now we're adding the fume hood above our grill, which you can just place uh, supporting blocks for now that you can attach stair blocks to easily. That's fine, as long as they're all right side up. And then you can delete the supporting blocks. So on top of our previous trap doors, we have more facing in to continue the wall up. And attached to the wall that's on the door side, we're going to place two blocks. So we can place two trap doors facing towards the grill and flip those vertically. And then we can remove those supporting blocks. If you want to, you can also throw a painting on the wall just to spruce up the bedroom a little bit more. Now continuing another layer up. This front corner is being replaced. Instead of, I guess instead of spruced logs going up, we're putting a dark oak plank there. And then two more towards the back. And then we're running along the side of the roof with spruce planks, going along the wall towards the back, going across the back, going back towards the front, and stopping three shy, or I guess two shy from the front block. Yeah, so attached to this, while going towards the front, we'll have three spruce logs. On the left side of the building, coming off of those spruce logs, we'll just have dark oak planks going all the way back. Across the back, we'll have fence, gate, skip a block, place the cobblestone, 
And then against the cobblestone, we can easily place the upside down cobblestone stair. Dark oak fence on the back of that. Leave a gap, fence, fence. And then a row of dark oak planks going towards the front on the far side. Tiny wall gets a fence and then a gate. So starting from the right side of the front, on top of our upside down stair on the corner, we'll have a right side up stair. It's an upside down stair towards the middle attached to that. And then off the back of this, we can attach four spruce logs, then increasing the height of that middle post by one. Across the middle, we have two regular dark oak slabs. On the back, we have spruce planks uh, as a two by two, sorry, two by two spruce planks, and then spruce slabs attached to the top of the back of those. We can also right now easily increase the height of the spruce logs on the inside and throw the final two stairs over the fume hood. Then increase all of the trap doors around the bedroom by one because we still haven't made it to the roof yet. We're mirroring the front of the building, or at least around the doorway. So regular stair block, upside down stair block towards the middle. Coming along the left side towards the back, we're just gonna be flipping these stairs around a lot. So right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down towards the back, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down towards the back, which you can attach to the side of this dark oak plank, or you can place the next block, which is a right side up staircase first, and then attach this upside down to that one. Then we have an upside down block and a right side up block. On the back, right side up, upside down towards the middle. Going across, right side up, upside down towards the middle. On the right side, going back towards the front, Right side up, upside down, 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 right side up. Going across the small wall towards the front, right side up, upside down and towards the middle. Going across the tiniest wall, right side up, upside down, then right side up towards the back. We can increase this in height by one. Going across the front, Right side up stair, going across the middle. Right side up stair on the left, going across the middle. And two upside down stone stairs to complete that gap. On the leftmost side, starting from this corner, we're going to go air block, air block, air block, bottom slab. Air block, slab, staircase towards the middle, slab, air block, slab. On the back. Continuing from where we left off with this upside down stair, we are going to place a right side up stair towards the middle, then an upside down one, then a slab, going all the way across, right side up stair, upside down stair, slab towards the middle. On the rightmost side, we're leaving an air block, air block, air block, slab, air block, Stairs, air block, slab. On the tiny wall, we continue this angle going towards the middle with the right side up and an upside down stair. So then, starting from the front left corner going towards the back, we have slab, stair, air block, stair towards the back, stair towards the middle, slab, air block, slab, air block, slab air block. Next row in towards the front, we have, well, we should attach this dark oak plank first, so that way we can attach this stair block towards the front. Because of this air gap here in the back will make it a little annoying. But then we can go stair block towards the middle, 
planks, stair, planks, 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 stair, and then two more planks. Then going another layer in, this one's across this part of the doorway, going towards the back. We have one, two, three, four planks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven logs. We can continue this wall across by four for now. And then uh, along this wall towards the back, towards this upside down stair, we'll do a row of spruce logs all the way towards the front. Ending at this upside down stair. Going on the rightmost side, from the front to the back, we have slab, two air blocks, stair to the back, stair towards the middle, stair towards the front, two air blocks, and a slab. Moving one in, going towards the front, we have planks, stairs, slab, three planks, stairs towards the back, stairs towards the middle, and another dark oak plank. Going back from the front side, on the right side of the door, we have one, two, three, four dark oak planks going back, and then spruce logs going towards the right side of the building to connect between the two sets of spruce logs. Against the spruce planks on the back, we have another set of logs spanning across the middle. On the very back side of this chimney, on top of the upside down stair, we're gonna put a cobblestone on top of the cobblestone from before. We can put a right side up stair and then two fence to bridge this gap. We are going to continue this wall from before. And this should actually be continued as well. I guess I forgot that earlier. Okay, then along this line of spruce logs, we'll throw in three spruce planks for the roof, or for the wall, sorry. Then we just have to finish up this little corner, which is on the right side of the doorway. Air block, slab, slab, then planks, planks, and stairs towards the front. Up another layer. Across the very front, we have two stairs facing each other. Along the small wall, we'll have a right side up stair upside down stair, right side up stair, and an upside down stair. On the very back, not starting above the slab, but starting above the stair, we'll have a right side up stair, upside down. On the opposite side, same thing, right side up, upside down towards the middle. And then from that, Going across, we can do a row of dark oak planks, stopping at that stair, which again we can continue all the way to the back, which is what we can then attach the right side up stone brick stairs to. Again another row of dark oak planks all the way towards the front of the building. And on this we can attach the other regular staircase from the back. Then on the left side looking from the front, right side looking from the back, we will continue that chimney up one block, then go dark oak planks all the way to the front. Short one block with a stair facing towards the back. Then going one to the left, we will go plank, plank, slab, three planks, slab, Stairs towards the front, stairs towards the middle, stairs towards the back, stairs towards the middle. Starting from the front again, moving left once more, stairs towards the back, stairs towards the middle, air block, and then stairs to the back, middle, and then front. On the right side of the build, leaving off from this long line of dark oak planks, 
going off of this right side up staircase at the top of this angle, we'll have slab, stairs towards the back, stairs towards the middle, four planks, stairs towards the middle, stairs towards the front. Where these, where this line of four planks was, the frontmost one, we'll put a stair towards the back, then to the middle, and then towards the front. And we are almost done. Going up another layer. Above the right side upstair at the top of the small wall arch for the roof, we'll put a slab. Air block to the left, and then another slab. Going from this stone slab towards the back, we'll place dark oak planks in a line. All the way to the back, ending with a vertical stair on both sides of the of the <laughs> okay sorry uh, vertical stair facing each other on both sides of the vertical stairs that we had before or right side up stairs then we have a line of dark oak planks going from that stair block towards the front one short with a slab at the end then from there one air block to the left and then three blocks to the back with one block to the left side. These are all slabs. Continuing from here, two air blocks, one slab, one air block, one cobblestone. On the right side of this slab, going back, we have slab, slab, stair towards the middle, stair towards the back, full block, stair towards the middle, stair towards the front. Off of that full block, we have a slab going up another layer. This is the last bit of the roof. So going from the first stair on the right side, or two planks back from the front, we'll put a slab, air block, slab to the left, air block, slab to the right, slab forward, slab to the left, forward and air block, slab to the right. And then we'll finish off the chimney, which will complete the whole build. So cobblestone up, wall, wall, one more wall, and then a stair block to finish it off. And that's the small dark oak and spruce house. If you liked it, like the video. If you didn't like it, dislike the video. If you want to see more in the future, subscribe. Bell icon if you want to talk to me, join the Discord, watch me on Twitch, follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now. Hope you had a great day, and there will be more in the future. So goodbye for now.